Hi, I'm Musay Benetti and I'm here to teach you how to solve the equation 7 plus 4 square root of 3 cos theta minus 4 sine squared theta equals 0. First of all, the first step we should do is unsign the equation. This means to make the sine squared theta a cos squared theta. And in order to do this, we have to follow one of the identities we have learned, which is that sine squared theta equals 1 minus cos squared theta. This would make this equation. The second step would be to distribute the 4 uh, to the inside the parentheses. In the end, we would get this. Next step should be to combine common terms, which, as you can see, there are some like 7 and negative 4, which when you combine, you get 3. Last, we should divide both sides by 4, and when we do, we would get 3 over 4 plus square root of 3 cos theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 0. This will now seem similar to you because it is now able to become a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation, if you can remember, is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And that is exactly how I am going to arrange it. And as you might remember, a way to solve a quadratic equation is by using quad form. Quad form is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. By using quad form, we'll be able to solve the above quadratic equation. And when we input the numbers of, the, of our quadratic equation into quad form, we would get something like this. Now, when you simplify that equation, you'll get something like this. Not hard at all. And now we have somewhat the one of one of the answers. But now to do this, we first have to find which angle it satisfies. And one simple way to do this is by finding out with the special triangles, which are 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90, which are right there. As we can see, there's a square root of 3 over 2, and the 45 45 triangle does not satisfy any of these. So we can cross it out. On the contrast, the other one we know that cos of 30 is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. This is exactly what we have on top. So this is definitely the answer, that cos is equal to 30 degrees. And although we have a negative sign on top, it doesn't really matter, because angles can't be negative, and this is the only way to do it. Next, we should draw a unit circle, and as we know, we can draw the cut the quadrants as all students take calculus, where in all, all are positive, and as in all sines are positive, in T, all tangents, and in C, all cotangents. But as we know, this equation is negative, so we can cross out A and C because they would be positive, and this it would leave us with S and T, where we have two answers in one of each quadrants. And we know, as we did earlier, that the square root of 3 over 2 is 30 degrees. And so we can now pull 30 degrees up and 30 degrees down from 180. Because it's the only side that's available. And if you put 180 degrees up, as we are doing here, you would get 180 degrees minus 30, which would equal 150 degrees. As if you did in the bottom, 180 plus 30, you get 210 degrees. Now that we have this, we have to find it in radians because, because the question asks for a domain of 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi. So one way I used to get a 
one way that I changed the variables is by building the, the unit circle that applies to it. In this case, they are 150 and 210 are factors of 30 degrees. So I built the unit circle of pi over 6, which is 30 degrees. And when we fill it in, you can see the two answers that we're going to need. We get that 150 degrees is 5 pi over 6, and that 210 degrees is 7 pi over 6. And these are the two answers that we previously got, and these are going to be the answers in radians. So in conclusion, the cos of theta will equal 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned how to solve this equation and will help us and will help you in future problems as well. Thank you.